Hey guys, it's Cthulhu here. Today is the 7th of June 2011 and today Jogget's released an update called Deadliest Catch. So Deadliest Catch is classified as a master quest with level 70 fishing, thieving and level 67 hunter requirements. Whether or not it really is a master quest, I don't really know. I mean, I don't know how they define these kind of things anymore. But in terms of difficulty and the length of time it takes to complete the quest, this was extremely easy and quick to complete. In terms of rewards, you'll get 70k fishing experience, 26k hunter experience and 8k thieving experience. You'll also get access to wieldable nets, both big and small, and you'll also get access to deposit boxes spread across RuneScape in remote areas of fishing locations. So for example, one at Pollenvinch and one at Bedabin Camp, one at Apatol and a couple of others. You'll also be able to get an additional 46k hunter experience by catching the Thassalus a total of 10 times after you've completed the quest. So like I've said already, this quest is extremely quick and easy to complete. Everything is within close proximity of the fishing guild, with the exception of one task which takes you to the Tower of Life in Ardi. But even once you've completed that task, it will give you the option to teleport straight back to the fishing guild. The only two items you'll really need is a skills necklace, so you can get to the fishing guild, unless of course you have uh, lunar spells, and also an, uh, an Ardi cape if you have one, so you can go to the uh, Kandarin Monastery to get to the Tower of Life quicker. Having completed the quest, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, they did describe Thassilus as being the size of uh, of Wizard's Tower, so I was expecting to see something on the scale of a Soul's War, the Soul Wars boss. Um, that unfortunately did not uh, did not happen. Um, instead, it was just relative to the screen size. So, for example, you'll notice that uh, when you're hunting Thassilus, your boat appears very very small, and um, and that's relative to the size of Thassilus. And Thassilus was about three four times bigger than the boat so um so yeah relatively it was pretty big but um it's not something that we got to see up close and personal so we didn't really get to appreciate the size of it and um, and yeah that was a bit of a disappointment also even though i i knew that um that seeing as hunter was involved we would probably have to uh, hunt it and then that would be the end of it i was still hoping there would be a scene in which we could actually kill it but that didn't develop either i mean i was hoping that perhaps we would catch it but then it would appear that the net or something that we were using would not be strong enough and that we would have to subdue it by attacking it but um but yeah that was not the uh, that was not the case and i mean they could have done that i think I think you could have um, subdued it and then decided to let it go or something like that and that would then um, allow you to uh, to hunt it an additional 10 times rather than killing it once and then unusually being able to kill it the further 10 times which wouldn't make sense. Um, but yeah I was a bit disappointed I guess and also the fact that it was a master quest. I actually thought before the quest was released that it was uh, listed as a grand master quest. So um, so I'd hyped it up in my head even uh, even more than I originally thought. Um, also, it means that JX aren't uh, aren't following my idea of uh, of hopefully bringing back bosses that we can repeatedly kill because I'd love to go back and kill a boss like Nomad a few times. I'm sure lots of people would like the challenge of trying to kill him quicker and in different ways rather than just the one try that they had before they actually killed it. And um, and I thought this would be you know the quest to start it all where you could repeatedly kill a boss. And um, and that didn't develop either. So um, so a few disappointments. But um, but in terms of you know people who need the experience, this is a very fast, quick, easy quest to do. So um, so yeah, it's it's well worth spending the time to uh, complete this quest, especially if you need fishing experience. I myself needed hunter experience, so I still have to actually go kill Thassilus an additional ten times. I say kill, I mean hunt, and um, and I'll get my hunter experience. And um, and yeah, so uh, overall, this this quest. I have to say it's probably it's probably a two out of five. It was overhyped. At least uh, I managed to overhype it in my head. So guys, that really is it now. So um, very short video, but that is because the update was just ridiculously quick. And um, and in other news, there was no other news. I mean, there were a couple of articles, but none that were really important, not relative to actual gameplay at all. So uh, not worth mentioning. And um, and yeah, honestly, that really is it. Hopefully, next update will be uh, will be more worth our time, and uh, and we'll get a longer video out of it. But uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. See you around.